Hi guys, are you looking for a reliable backup solution to ensure data redundancy for your civilian system? Today in this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of using two NVRs for data backup. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to send us your questions through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. Data backup is important in civilian systems to ensure the security and integrity of recorded video footage. In the event of system failure or unexpected incident, having a robust backup strategy safeguards against data loss. Now, redundancy and failover plays a crucial role in ensuring reliable NVR connectivity. By implementing them, civilian systems can minimize downtime and protect critical video data from potential disruption or hardware failures. So redundancy and failover provide a safety net for civilian system to keep the system running smoothly. Now imagine you have a backup plan in case your main plan doesn't work. So redundancy is like that backup plan. It means having an extra component, and in our case, it's the extra MVR that it's ready to take over if something goes wrong with the primary MVR. Now, failover is the process of switching a backup component when the primary fails. It's kind of similar to if you have a power outage at home, but you have a backup generator that can automatically kick in and provide electricity. So in the context of our civilian system, redundancy and failover are important for reliable connectivity. So that's why we are going to use two NVRs today to connect with the 24-port managed PoE switch. Then we are going to connect to the PDZ camera and the 4K DOOM camera. This is a 32-channel NVR, and it can provide HD video data storage and reliable central management for multiple IP cameras with real-time monitoring. It also has the dual NICs, allows the camera to connect to two separate networks. Now I'm going to use a short patch cord and connect the NVR to the PoE switch. And it's already connected to the monitor using the HDMI cable. Let's come over here and connect to our switch. Now above we have the 16 channel NVR and it's already connected to the monitor using the VGA cable. Now I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect it to the switch. So now both NVRs are connected to one managed PoE switch. I'm going to connect the switch with the edge device. We have two camera so let's plug in two Ethernet cables. So let's connect to the PDZ camera and the 4K camera. You can see this is getting power and data at the same time using the PoE technology. So let's give it a little bit of time. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So now let's come over to this side and I'll show you the redundancy. Since they're both connected to the monitor, so I'm going to unplug one of those. Let me unplug the VGA now. And you can see even though it turned off instantly, but the other one will come back up. And I'm going to show you this is also a live video by waving my hand. So see, it's still working. Now you can have a redundancy. So when you choose an NVR, there are few factors you should keep in mind. The NVR compatibility and integration, storage capacity and scalability. Redundancy and failover feature, and also the dual next availability. Now there are other black backup plans such as the cow base backup. However, the dual NVR setup can provide higher level of control and security since the cloud-based backup is relied on a third-party provider. And also, the dual NVR setup is more cost-effective. 
and it's also very important to have regular maintenance firmware updates and security patches for your NVR and network infrastructure. So thank you very much for watching. Here's a video on how to use a dual NICS NVR to build a separate network for IP cameras.